Did you ever think about how you can develop your own video call project? Don't worry, in this video I'm going to share with you my experience in this kind of project. I used Spring Boot framework to build the backend, Zico Cloud which provides a powerful API to interact with voice and video call, in addition into HTML files and JavaScript to link between the backend and frontend. I have two computers and I will share with you a demo part. But before I do that, I will give you all the functionalities of the system. So let's move to the next part. The project is running in port 8080. First we need to register before you can join the meeting. After you log in, you can see all connected users. You can either create a new video call or joining the existing one. So this is the login form and this is the register form. So let's try to register a user. So here I create a mean at my.com. So here this is the user name. So here I pass it here and here I write I mean password I mean so let's register so as we see here I have this user just one user and this icon is green represents that the user was connected let's create another user using another browser so here I have edge browser I register new one so first we try to test the whole project in localhost after that we try to use another computer so here we have Omar for example Omar at mile.com and password Omar register so as we see here we have two user now let's test the meeting functionality suppose Omar wants to create a meeting so this is the account of Omar create new meeting so here we can test the camera so let's test this so this is the camera and this is the mic let's join the meeting so as we see here it's a complete dashboard for video call here we have just one user so let's copy the personal link I need just the room ID I copy this so as we see room ID 188 so let's go into I mean account so here when I refresh I got to user so here I want to join the meeting with the room 188 so here I write 188 and join so as we see everything in localhost as we see here so this is I mean join the meeting so as we see here we have two users we can create a message so this message from Emmy send let's see the other browser so as we see here I receive this message from Emmy so here I leave the room and I log out let's see the other side as we see here we have just one user confirm let's try to test that using the second computer so this is the second computer here I'm trying to access into my application using the IP address as we see here in the URL so here I try to log in using I mean account. So here login. So as we see here we have just one connected user I mean. 
Let's try to access using the second computer. So here, as we see here, Amin and Omar was connected. Let's try to create a meeting using account of Amin. Create new meeting. Join. So here I try to copy the room ID. So three, four. And here let's join the meeting directly. Three, four, and join. So as we see here, we have two users, Omar and Amin, and here the same thing, we have two users. So let's try to open the camera using Amin account. So this is the live streaming as we see here. This is my camera. And here I can exchange the messages, also the voice. The full explanation was created by Ali Boali channel. You will find the link below the video. I wish this demonstration will be helpful for you and we will meet in other videos.